if you are a Harley Quinn fan and you didn't cancel your DC Universe account, don't. Because I, I not that not that I'm trying to segue away from the subject. Maybe a little. No, bit. no, no. But I, I get where you're going. Uh, so I accidentally canceled my account, which was five ninety nine a month. And I, tr- I realized very quickly my mistake and I tried to get it back and it wouldn't let me renew and I couldn't figure out why. It's because they raised the price of DC Universe. It is now $7.99 a month. So be careful of that. You might they just raised money. the price? Yeah, it's now $7.99 a month, which is weird because, you know, HBO Max is about to come out. Again, we don't, we, I think we were talking and we, we thought there's a possibility they might try to put some of the DC stuff on HBO Max there's no weight to that rumor as of yet that I've heard of. But, I mean, yes. I yes, sir. do have a rumor that could discri- uh, disrupt that. Because okay. I'm guessing you probably haven't heard. But uh, Harley Quinn, the whole show, is going to be put onto sci-fi as of May. What? Really? Yes. Go ahead and research it. I was surprised by myself when I saw it, but I guess just because of how popular uh, Harley Quinn has been and whether or not there's been anything that they can uh, properly censor for that kind of a channel, they are going to be showing the series on sci-fi. Huh, that's that's very interesting. It is a really good show. I mean, I'm, I'm, I've already, we already have two other episodes where I bragged about how great this show is, so I won't start here, but no, that's that's very interesting. So it will become the sci-fi. That, well, that's why I was kind of surprised that you didn't uh, say anything about it in regards to wanting to go back into it. Because if you're only going back into it for Harley, you really don't need to. And right now, there probably isn't too much else that's coming out that probably isn't going to be pushed out anywhere else. Right now, Harley is the only new thing they have on the, the, the DC Universe, correct? Uh, correct. But right. to be, be, in fairness, I don't, uh, I don't have cable. Uh, my family kind of has YouTube TV. I don't really watch it. So I don't even know if we have sci-fi as part of our package. So I really, I don't have many options anyway. Yeah, it says here, uh, starting May 3rd, each season one episode will land in sweet multi-installment chunks at sci-fi every Sunday night. Yeah, you know what? You know, again, I... It's funny with this podcast, I'm almost learning as much as some of our viewers sometimes because you're passing on information I hadn't heard of. And the most interesting thing I've been finding in a lot of this, especially with HBO Max and Time Warner, man, they're making so many deals with other companies because uh, they give Harley Quinn to Sci-Fi Channel. Essentially, Warner Brothers is allowing one of their shows to play on a universal channel because Sci-Fi is owned by NBC Universal. Right, but considering we also talked about the little deal that they had with Lego and that going over to Universal, this may have been part of that deal. Uh, very, very true. But I'm also, um, like in other areas too, I won't go into HBO Max, but I'm now seeing more commercials for that. I, for the longest time, I was like, D- Disney Plus is the one to go, that's going to go up against uh, Netflix. Now I'm like, maybe HBO Max is going to be them because HBO Max is getting a lot of stuff and it's not all Time Warner stuff. I'm seeing mm-hmm. a lot of Viacom stuff on there, which is kind of weird. Yeah, I mean, going back to anime, I know at least Crunchyroll has an agreement with them. So, I mean, that's going to be one thing. And I Well, guess... remember, Crunchyroll is actually owned by uh, Warner Brothers. Right. And I guess also Rooster Teeth, all that other stuff that you get on Verve. So that's kind of like the counter-programming. If Disney decides to stick with their Hulu arrangement with Funimation, so you're going to have like these two big things competing against each other. And that's always been a weird, weird thing. Remember, uh, Verve, uh, Funimation was on uh, Verve, and then they separated because I believe Funimation is now owned by either Paramount or Sony. I can't remember. Or Cl- hmm. I know it's another big one, and now I am going to look it up, but I'm going to keep talking because I don't like dead air. Um. Dead air. What's that? <laughs> Dead air. So, uh, I, so I'm really excited about all this stuff. But yeah, Warner Brothers is weird. Warner Brothers, like, it. I was talking about this earlier with like all the stuff they own. I forgot that they actually a few years ago they started collecting all these other little things like Crunchyroll and Rooster Teeth. Actually, 
Rooster Teeth is the combination of a ton of stuff. I, in fact, think Crunchyroll fun, falls under the Rooster Teeth brand. Right. But, well, that's how you got something like Verve, where it's like an all amalgamation, which also has uh, stuff from Cartoon Network, stuff from Nick Splat, you know. It's... Right. I know. We're Now we're going off topic to what was originally planned. By the way, this, uh, to episode. answer your question, uh, Sony is majority owner with uh, yes. okay. 95% of the company. So that's uh, the... So I think like Sony and Time Warner don't want to agree on stuff. So unless Sony comes to some sort of agreement, you're probably not going to see a lot of Funimation stuff uh, in association with, well, where, where did you say that was going to go? Well, no, Funimation has to work with Hulu, which is a Disney oh, property. Oh, that's right. Yes. Yes, it is. Did so, Com- I mean, we talked between about this on that and Studio Ghibli. You know, they have their anime side of the world. Wait, wait, wait. We talked about this in another episode. Did Comcast actually sell its uh, stake in Hulu? Oh, yeah. Yeah, no. Okay. Disney is definitely Hulu owning. uh, No, Hulu is definitely Disney owned. Too many companies. Yes. Uh, They're slowly coming together, though, aren't they? And it's a scary thing. Basically, the big battle is between Disney and Warner Brothers. Yes. And then Viacom is kind of like, I don't know what Viacom's trying to do. They were trying to build up that CBS Access brand, which, by the way, uh, from my understanding, is before that uh, the uh, former CEO of, of uh, CBS got caught in uh, another case of. Uh, Say it. I'm trying to remember the word. Uh, me too. So, yeah, he. he, he oh, got allegations. Key. Yes, allegations. But he did get, he ended up either stepping down or getting removed from the position. He was the big head honcho who was kind of keeping CBS and Viacom separate. And once he was removed, Viacom went all ours now. Yes, yes. So I, yes. So I don't know what's going to happen to CBS access, but Viacom otherwise is like just throwing their properties to everyone. So, like I said, uh, South Park is going to show up on HBO Max. Uh, Nickelodeon is putting a whole bunch of stuff on Netflix. If you are a big fan of Avatar and uh, you don't own the series on DVD, get a Netflix for the next month or so because all the episodes are there. It's, I, I don't know what Viacom's plan is. Are they just going to ride as a third party to all these other streaming networks? Look, it's like the Wild West, man. It's like whoever can shoot first shoots best. <laughs> I, You know what? I, I think... It was, I think it was the Wild West, and now things are starting to get civilized because we, there was all these millions of streaming networks, and now it looks like the big boys are coming in, and they're start slowly gobbling people up. And eventually, I think it's going to come down to a few big three. It'll probably be... I don't know what Disney's plan is. I don't know why Disney owns multiple streaming networks. I think at some point, they're going to combine them. HBO is weird as hell. Like There are four different HBOs out there, I think. <laughs> like hbo max hbo go hbo on demand hbo now like why are why do you have so many different services but i think eventually it'll be hbo max it'll be netflix it'll be disney plus and i don't know and probably amazon and hulu because you have to no, you have to combine disney plus and hulu to some extent yeah that's like one entity it's just there's the family friendly stuff and the not so family friendly stuff 